Hi and welcome to a hopefully quick and simple explanation on modules. So modules are, are really, they look very daunting, overwhelming, but actually quite simple once you understand what everything means. So let me quickly go over. The modules are these things over here for your weapons. And these things over here for your descendant. So let me explain all of this to you. On the left hand side here, you've got an applied value. So if you, for instance, I'm going to take the shock function. It can only go into a sub-module, that's why it's orange there. It can only go in there. It's going to tell you here what it's going to do for you. Modifies the sub the charge sub attack so I can shock punch anybody which is really cool. Second thing all these module slots here some of them you'll see have a little symbol inside over there and then obviously these two have color so you can only put a skill module in here I unfortunately only have a lepic one not a bunny one I will get one eventually some of them are blank so you can put any anyone in there I mean, you can put anyone in there, but there's a reason why this has got a symbol. So for instance, if I put this one in there, it's going to half these points. Now what these points are, you'll see you've got a module capacity over here. I've got 48 points. So this is 4. If I put it in a normal slot, it's going to be 8. Now you can only put the sum total of 48 in here. So all of these add up. So if I put this one in there, for instance, it's going to be 13 and so on and so forth until it's full. So be very careful with the what you put where. That one would be best there because it's a very high one. Because I've, in, uh, I've improved it. Uh, I remove it, just right click. I have one that I want to put in there that is also high in here. Put this one in here. See, it's because it's seven, it's going to go down to four and not three. I wish it went down to three, but it is what it is. And then obviously, you need to read what it says and you need to kind of know what, what skills your character has. Like now you can see it's added my skill power, it's added dimensional skill modifier because of these two. Skill, dimension, skill modifier. And obviously this gives me, recovers 9% with a, a charge, charged sub attack. Um, let me see. Okay, well, um, mm, 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 mm. fire resist, I don't, I'm not worried about. That one's a pretty good one because it adds defense, but this one is better. Let me add that. Obviously, if later on, um, when you reach Mastery 7, you are going to unlock Energy Activator. Let me actually show you this too you can also equip recommended ones that tells you exactly what what to equip which is going to be great for your character i mean you can do that and it'll equip everything that the game thinks that you should have for this character or you can you know choose your own is completely up to you. You can also buy for money extra settings. But what I wanted to show you is the module additional settings. Now you can assign a module socket type when you have a crystallization catalyst, which you need to research. Now you'll see there's that, that symbol's not very bright. You can take it out or you can add new symbols into these slots. I can't do that yet because I don't have a crystallization catalyst. 
but you can later on add symbols to your slots to make them cheaper so you can add more slots and also you can add more slots when you level up your mastery rank it'll give you module capacity extra and slots and yeah that is basically everything on, on this screen um let me also show you this dude Cillian is where That's you can anything. actually enhance your modules so that is also another thing if you enhance your modules like for instance to increase shield that is going to make your capacity cost more so it's going to increase that number so now i've got 47 and it's going to make the count eight and you can also do that for your weapons also that's going to increase the module capacity and then also you can go over here and dismantle your modules. You can shift, select all your duplicate models, modules, which I'm not going to do right now. I'm just going to grab a couple. You can stack them. But because it only gives you shards, these shards, caper shards, nothing special. And they, they are gone. And then obviously when you reach mastery level 9, which I don't have yet, you can combine modules to make better ones. And that is it. Short and sweet. Obviously if you go here and you can equip the recommended ones for your weapons, done. Very simple. You don't even have to think. If, if you don't want to go through every single one, read them and make sure that all of this is, is correct. Just equip the recommended ones. I mean, you can literally do that for each and every one of them. Ugh, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Settings. To equip the recommended ones and shape and you'll see they're green because these are like the best ones for this weapon and that's it short and sweet and obviously down here you can click this if you only want to see the the stuff from this specific weapon and also you can max capacity up when you have an energy activator which I don't have yet yeah and that's it there's, there's nothing really more to it hopefully that helped you comment down below if you want if you have any more questions or if you enjoyed that little in explanation and uh, yeah thank you for watching hope to see you in the next one Thank you.